So let's stay for one more episode on this Ajax filtering and sorting thing. Uh, so we did the sorting in the last episode and the episodes before that we did filtering for October CMS. Now we wanna add one more option to our filters and that is pagination. So since we have 100 movies, uh, we don't wanna show them all at once, but we wanna show, let's say, 10 movies per page. And then we wanna have a control that we can go from one page to another. Okay, so when we go to our movie.php, so it's going to be in our watch plugins, watch learn movies, uh, models movie PHP so this is the movie model we can already control on what page we are on so as you can see we have this page variable right here and it says it's on page one now take a look at this list right so this is our default list that we are getting from October and if I say for example page five and refresh the page you will see that the list has changed because now it's on page five. Okay, so our task for today is to actually change this page variable uh, when we wanna go to another page uh, in our movie list. Okay, so first of all, uh, we need to get all the pages and uh, we can get them as you can see when we return our query we are paginating it and we are sending it some options so how many uh, items per page and what page we are on so this is good for us uh, so we can do something like right here in prepare vars i can just do die and dump this movies now uh, i'm just going to dump the collection of movies that we are getting because we are going to get the pagination from that list and if we go to our page right now and refresh it you can see the uh, collection that we are getting and also you can see that we have total pages we have the last page we have the items we have uh, items per page and so on <clears throat> Okay, so we are displaying uh, 10 items per page, like we said right here. So per page is 10 items and we are page number one currently, as you can see right here. So the current page is number one. Now we are going to need uh, to get the list of all the pages. And as you can see, we have this last page right here and it's 10. So we, we can be sure that there are only 10 pages. So we need to go through that list and create our drop down box that is going to uh, contain all of the pages that we are getting from October. Now, how do we do that? Well, if I go to uh, die and dump right here that I made, so we are uh, dumping the collection of movies and if we, we just do this. last page save it and refresh it we're going to get number 10 so this is the pages that we need so we can create a variable from this so now we have pages variable which is going to contain the last page just the number of last pages now we can just iterate through that and uh, make a list of all the pages that we currently have in that query. So now I'm just going to go down here and I'm just going to copy this field and going to call it pa uh, pagination or pages. Actually just page. So we wanna, uh, we wanna allow our users to change the page. Uh, this is not going to be name filter, but it's going to be name page. Now we have to iterate through the pages variable, actually pages uh, variable, yeah, that we just created. So we are going to change this for loop a little bit. So I'm just going to say I in So what this is saying to October, actually this twig function is saying uh, the I uh, is going to be a variable and iterate through all the pages from one to the number of pages that we have. Also, you can just do something like 100. So if I do I right here and I right here, 
I'm going to get 100 pages actually 100 items in this list so if I click right here as you can see I have a hundred but we don't want a hundred we want the number of pages that our query is currently returning to us so I'm just going to do pages right here and as you can see now we have 10 pages okay so this should actually work so we are just sending this page variable uh, to uh, our October CMS backend and it's returning our query uh, with the current page. So we are, when we are using this page right here, we are just changing this number. Okay, so if I do something like five, as you can see, our list has changed and we are on page number five. If I do something like nine, the list has changed and we are on page nine. Okay, so this is nice, but it's not actually working correctly because if I uh, filter all the action movies and teen comedy movies, I will still get 10 pages because this right here is not changing like the uh, like the list of movies that we have it's uh, always going to stay at number 10 so if i do something like 8 we should get that there are no movies because there is no page number 8 in this query w once we filter the action and teen comedies okay so we have to handle that right now so how do we do that <clears throat> Well, since we are going to need for this select field to change depending on, uh, on the query that we are getting from the October CMS, uh, then we need to put it in a partial so that the IJ Ajax framework of October's uh, can change that field. So how do we do that? Well, I'm just going to copy this out, actually cut it out and I'm going to create a new file. So we have, we already have movies partial that we created. So for displaying our movies, once the parameters of the queries, uh, query are changed. So I'm just going to go right here. And call this partial paginate.htm. Okay. save this and now we have this pagination right here so we can go to the filter ajax and call that partial so if i just do this movies paginate okay save it let's see if our page works correctly right now okay it's it works correctly it uh, uh, shows us that we have 10 pages but this still doesn't actually work uh, because if we filter this out, we will still get uh, 10 pages. Because we didn't tell October that we want to change this partial once the information in this form changes. So we are going to do that right now. So if you go to our form, uh, you can see that when we update the form, it's go uh, the October is going to change uh, the div with the ID of partial movies with the partial that is in our partial folders, movies subfolder, and then movies. So that's why we are calling it movies, movies. Okay, so uh, October has this great option that it can change multiple partials, not just one. So we want to change this paginate partial or update it. Okay, so we have movies paginate and it's going to change the uh, div with the ID of partial paginate. Okay, so now all that is left to do is we just have to uh, give this field, uh, this div with the class field, the ID of partial paginate. Okay, so if we save this right now, go to our page, refresh it, uh, we can see we are on page number one. But if I do action and check out the pages, you can see that we now only have five pages. Okay, so if I do teen comedy, 
now you can see that we only have two pages for Steam Comedy, right? So if I unselect this, then we also have five pages. Now, this works and this is good, but we still have one more problem. Now, uh, if I uh, go to our page number six or seven or whatever, as you can see, this page right here changes. So it's always going to be number one. That is because uh, the October doesn't get the information which page is actually selected uh, to display in that drop down field. So the front end doesn't get that information. Now we can remedy that uh, by going to our movie filter Ajax. And then we are going to just add another variable. And this one is going to be called page. And to get it, we also do this movies, but not the last page, but the current page. Okay, so we save this and we go to our paginate. And now we want to say if the i, this i variable is equal to the current page, then we want to make this option value uh, selected and display it. So I'm just going to do it like this. So if i is equal to page, uh, then we want to have uh, an else statement also. So else Okay, so we want to have it like this. If the i is equal to page, uh, then the option value is page. is page and also it is selected. Else just display the other pages and that's it. So if I save this right now, go right here, refresh it. Now, uh, if I do something like number five, we will stay on the page number five and the user gets the information on, on what page it is on. If I go to number eight, then we get that number eight in our pages drop down. Now, uh, we still have one more problem. I am on page number eight, but if I do action, remember the page, uh, the when we filtered action movies, we only had five pages. And now, as you can see, it's uh, it says that it's on page number five, uh, but it doesn't show anything, there are no movies, so there's weirdness right here, because uh, the last page that we selected was number 8, and when we filter just action movies, we only have 5 pages. Now this will work, if we go to number 1, and then to number 5, it will show the movies, and that's nice, but we wanna remedy this somehow, and uh, we don't want to have that weirdness when someone goes to the uh, page that doesn't exist when uh, something is filtered. So what I wanna do now is I just wanna say in some way to October, uh, if the number of pages is less than current page, uh, then just go to the page number one, and that's it. So to do that, I'm just going to go to my movie.php and once again, I'm going to get the variable for the last page. And it's going to be equal to query. So query paginate per page. Similarly to what we did in the movie filter Ajax file. So now I'm just now I have the, this last page and uh, what I can do is just say So what I said right here if the last page is less than a uh, current page then the, set the page to be 1 and now uh, the 
script is going to go on and get to right here and we are defining the page that we want to show right here so that in our case is going to be number one okay we save this and let's see if this works so let's just refresh it and we are on page number one let's put it to be page number eight and now if i click on action i should be on page number one and we are not getting this error right here also just to check that this works correctly let's do it like this let's refresh it again and go to page number three so remember when we filter out the movies uh for the action genre we are only going to get five pages so if i click action as you can see we stay on page number three and we only have five pages and that's it so this is the way you would create this ajax filter pagination <clears throat> of course maybe some of you expected that the pagination is going to be down here somewhere right so uh, you can probably do that uh, by doing something similar to this but instead of a drop box using the radio buttons and then try to uh, make those radio buttons look like it's a normal kind of pagination it would take a bit more work but it's definitely doable also uh, for your homework i'm giving you homework again try to do the same thing so try to add another option right here that is going to uh, change this per page variable so that users can change how many items they want to display per page okay so this has been it for this video uh, remember everything we did here will be available for you on github the link will be in the description below if you want to ask me questions you can do that via twitter facebook youtube github my site whatever you want uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you like the channel and the content i put out maybe subscribe to it also if you want to send some money my way you can do that via the patreon page Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next episode.